MMG fans. You won a Mickey Mouse asterisk wildcard playoffs after the refs rigged the entire season. This game just destroyed MMG's legacy and invalidated all of his past rings. Not to mention my entire opponent's team being injured and 60% of their O-line being out. I'm not even a fan of your opponents, but this ring will definitely not count in anybody's book unless they are a delusional MMG fan. Sorry to hit you with some reality. Back to your fantasy land where you think this was a real playoff run. This is what they say to me! Rage quit after rage quit after rage quit. We find ourselves one game away from the Super Bowl. It's it, This has never happened to have this many rage quits. I, I, like, I don't know why people are quitting so early. I've won games where I've been down 21 to zero and I've lost games where I'm up 21 to zero. So why is everybody so skittish? Gentlemen, I want you to know that the frustration is shared. I wish every single Wheel of Mutt episode could be a super heat fourth quarter overtime banger. But damn boys, the script writers have a weak playoff run right now, but I do have a theory. The script writers kind of cakewalked me to the NFC Championship, which is today's game. And I have this sinking sensation that today's game will without a doubt be the most difficult game that we have played. That's what I believe. I don't know what it is, but I think finally we are going to have a ball buster, nail biter, absolute beauty of an NFC championship. So my only option is to lock in and get some dubs here, boys. Headed into the NFC championship. The lineup's looking awesome. 84 overall, only really one hole on offense, and that's my right guard is a little low. Uh, I like my wide receivers. I like the rest of my own line, and my tight ends are S plus tier. Defensively, my linebackers are looking beautiful, although I'm not the biggest fan of Junior Seau. Derwin James, Ed Reed, both had amazing games last game. Primetime, Eric Stokes, Pat Pete could probably get a superstar corner today if the option arises. And my D-line just got a little bolster from Cameron Hayward as my second D-tackle. Leonard Williams and Nick Bosa had a great game last week as well. So I'm like, I'm actually nervous. I can feel that today's game is going to be a big game. It's the NFC Championship, boys. Our first ever of Madden 24. Our first of only two wheel spins since this is the playoffs. Keep in mind though, the wheel is juiced. As you can tell here, team wheel 86, 87. The team wheel has been sliding by a lot recently. So any player in the game, 86 to 87 overall, they're gonna be a cowgirl, baby. They're gonna be a cowgirl. This team has only one Dallas Cowboy. If you count Deion Sanders as a cowboy, I'm glad to get a little bit of diversity. Not that kind of diversity. Well, actually, probably that kind of diversity. I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, why did this pass me? Of course, I currently have 84 primetime in there. What better upgrade than to make primetime better? Primetime was already amazing. I also will have an all-time kick returner, punt returner by taking primetime. So this is this is the obvious call here. Oh my God, why did this just cross my mind? Primetime could be our prestige. Oh, do we prestige a corner or do we prestige Gronk at tight end? That is a hard choice. What isn't a hard choice though is buying primetime here. I am obviously taking this. 86, 87 combat. There's only two, Micah Parsons and him. Uh, I don't need Micah Parsons. I would love a better corner. Wow, that's a massive upgrade. So 84 primetime up to 87 primetime. Obviously, he's better in every single category. He also is our new kick returner. That's awesome. I love having a defensive player as kick return too because they don't get winded for the ensuing offensive possession. Primetime's AKA X Factor is shut down. Definitely one of the best in the game. Shutdown is so good. I have to equip this, but I've got to free up some ability points on the rest of this defense. By the way, massive shout out to EA. This sounds fucked up. I can't believe I just said that sentence. For getting rid of that discounted ability bullshit. Last year was so riddled with discounted abilities that there were literally like 20 players per game with abilities. It was so annoying. Technically, it could still come back, so I don't want to like jump the gun here, but so far this year, I feel like abilities have actually been balanced, and that makes me so happy. Like, I've got four guys on my defense with abilities. An appropriate amount. And on offense, I think I have three. Also, gentlemen, I cooked up a little prize picks for Monday Night Football. I got Mike Evans, more than 54 and a half receiving yards. Jalen Hurts, more than 236 and a half passing yards. Prize picks is my daily fantasy sports sponsor and code MMG will get you a $100 deposit match. There's a link in the top of the description. Check it out. First wheel spin lands us prime time. Amazing way to kick off the episode. Low key, I would take another corner here if it's possible. Oh, whoo. So I get to spend this much on one, oh, that's gonna be 200K in it. Oh my God, let's go, or wait, 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 yes. Yes, roll, little bitch. Yeah, you 
like that, huh? Huh, you little bitch? You like that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> 200K to spend on one single player. That's a jackpot. That's a jackpot if I've ever seen one. I mean, come on. Come on. It's actually not. 88 overall players at minimum are 290,000. So it's actually, it's 86, 87 again, which is nice. <laughs> I actually need a right guard. Like, low-key, Chris Lindstrom is actually a really good buy here. Such a weird position to be getting with 200k on the line, but the rest of my positions are so good. The only other guy I would consider is Seau, but no, I gotta be smart, man. Mike on Wenu is just too low of an overall to take into an NFC Championship game. We gotta bolster that right there, and I like Chris Lindstrom a lot. So, a plus six overall upgrade at right guard. Chris Lindstrom comes in on the offensive line. We've got Bob Tiari, Nelson, Josh Myers, Lindstrom, and Tevin Jenkins. That's a hell of an offensive line. Gronk and Gasicki, Mechie, Jamar, Jerry Rice, and then defensively, Ed Reed. We got a lot of legends on defense, actually, which I usually don't have. We got Ed Reed, Primetime, LT, Junior Seau. This is the squad, boys. There are no excuses for losing ballgames, especially with the cakewalk we've had to get here. And of course, the last thing is the challenge wheel. I love the challenge wheel, but man, I am laser focused on winning this. Ooh. Huh. We have yet to get this one 16 plus in a quarter. This one kind of forces you to take a risk and go for two. You basically just need two touchdowns in one quarter, but you'd have to get the two-point conversion on both. The challenge wheel is locked in. Our team is locked in, and we're loading into the NFC Championship. I can feel this being a good game. I'm so nervous, actually. Jug fit. We're playing in Steelers. Oh, it's a night game in Steelers Stadium. He's got Bo Jackson, Bruce Smith, Eric. Yep, yep, this is going to be a good game. No kick returns. Oh, no, it's Devin Hester. Come on. Fly down, fly down, let's go. I'm gonna start in big nickel. It's so weird. I'll blitz Lawrence Taylor. I'm gonna stay on Trenton Simpson here. Does he run to kick this off? No, he's gonna pass to kick it off. Just a little bit behind that. I can definitely pick that off if he keeps throwing it. Boys, if our best game of the season is the NFC Championship, I don't think anybody's complaining. I'm gonna go on Lawrence Taylor. I think it'll be most difficult for him to cover here. Oh, I'm all over this shit. Let's go! I can't believe Bryce Young got rid of that. We're going man again. Cover two man. I've got Bo Jackson. I'm hoping to block. No, go ahead, Bo. I don't mind. Good defense! Derwin James! Derwin James clamps in man. It's fourth and nine in the NFC Championship, and he's gonna go for it from the 21. You're lying. I'm, I'm blitzing hard. I'm blitzing hot. Come on, boys. Makes the tackle! And guess what we did last game, boys? We're doing the same shit. Turnover? So about Gronk for Gasicki? Put Gronk where Franco Harris is. Vanguard is activated for the first three plays of the game. Gronk is gonna throw fucking haymakers. All we gotta do is follow our blocks. Good. Ooh, weird. Ooh, the oh, go, go, Gronk. Gronk blends his ass! He knew he was backpedaling like crazy. He knew. This is why we tune in, boys. This is why we watch Wheel of Mutt. Because nobody, nobody is running Vanguard Gronk at fullback. That's probably not true. I'm sure a lot of people are. I'm just being a dickhead. I'm not going to, like, jinx myself into a loss here. Let's just play. He's rattled now. Opening drive was weak. Don't you dare throw this. Leonard Williams. Oh, he's so rattled. He's in trouble. He's in I formation himself. Does he run it? He's got a really good run team. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm like that! Dodge the blocker, he's gonna pass, guess pass. No way you run this again. You're not built like that. Can I get there? Can I- Oh my fucking god! Okay, it was a bad pitch back, it was a bad pitch back. But I own you! I'm, s I'm smelling all your plays! I'm in your head! God, who, who no huddles after a failed run? You're obviously passing. Why are you gonna let me do this to you, man? Bro, a slightly faster running back, go on. Wait a minute, 16 plus and a quarter. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys, I wasn't even thinking. When I scored a Fred Taylor, I just got so fucking lit that I could, oh my, are you, dude. Stop me, stop me, or I will run I-4 stretch on you. This isn't even a good play. Right behind Gronk. Bro. Fred Taylor gets tall, takes it to the two. We're not in yet though. I'm going read option, Kenny Pickett. Actually, no, inside zone, Jesus. Dude, get out of that defense. Everybody runs this. It's the most meta defense, but it's like nickel. It's all it's all DBs and safeties. No, no, no. We're fucking God, you guys suck. God, you guys are fucking bums. You, it, it's the divisional 
Like, you had to win five games to get there. And you, you had, you had home field advantage. The logo was on your field. It was a night game. You are a verified. Oh my God, you're in your playoffs. There's no other way around it. You had to have won five games to get there. Why are you quitting in the first quarter? And you can see it right there, boys. Super Bowl, win the Super Bowl, become a season's champion. I literally, the next game, I swear to God, if I play the greatest player of all time next game and I get flooded, it will be the saddest Super Bowl run ever. You know what, boys? I don't give a shit if I technically just won the NFC Championship. I refuse to accept that poverty game as our, and a, like, and a, shut up. I don't care. I'm going into, I'm going into a mutt champions game where we will definitely find better competition. And that game, this is my NFC championship. Okay, so if I lose this game, I'm out of the playoffs. If I win this game, we're playing that Super Bowl. I'm sick of these poverty players. On top of that, if I win the game, I'm taking a jackpot player. Hey, two NFC championship wins? The Packers couldn't even dream of one. All right, let's go. He's got 89 Ramsey. Oh my God. Nice ball by him. Woo! I gotta blow this run up. This is a run. Leonard Williams will blow it up. Leonard Williams? That was like a combo tackle. He slowed him down into Trenton Simpson. That defensive, that tandem duo on defense has been so nasty. Fourth and one. This could be a stretch. What do we what do we expect here? A fourth and one. Oh, nice run play. That was really nice. Nice throw. Honestly, it'd be kind of sick if I could do Wheel of Mutt, like, in these games. But the problem is it doesn't actually track you to the Super Bowl. Like, there's no... There's no record. You know what I mean? So let's say I beat this guy here. All I get is a win, but it doesn't it doesn't take me to the playoffs. I feel like a big part of Wheel of Mutt is actually, like, making the playoffs and having the playoff logos on the field, you know? I feel like that's a pretty cool part of it. I'm manned up on the halfback. Let's see if he blocks him. Then I can just kind of free float. He doesn't even get it off. Just got to get to the quarterback real fast here. Oh, I shaded outside, too. I can't believe he cooked me like that. Way to stop that. But damn, I'm surprised that that was open. Now he's running. He's running again. We got to go fill this. Let's get on Derwin and fill this run. Oh. He's got nothing open, though. Oh, we stopped that. We stopped that. Third and goal. Dude, he's had a lot of, like, third and fourth downs, but he keeps converting them. Let's see if we can finally stop him here. Wow, that took some fucking balls to throw right at my face. We don't pick it off, but he doesn't catch it either. It was not a bad ball. He's going to go gun empty quads. I'm just going to drop everybody into coverage here. Great deep. Oh my God, we had so many bodies there. How was that open? Good touchdown. That's not me. I got to be able to stop that. I don't get how we have formation subs in franchise, but not in my... Be a really... Feels like it'd be a really easy addition. But we got Gronk in. We got Vanguard. It's fucking insane. There is no limit to how many Vanguard blocks he'll do. So, like, right there, you saw I did two. I'm going to run this right at the left side. I really, I st like, he's got the numbers there. I still don't think he stops this. Oh, great move, Fred Taylor. I think he probably knows I'm doing this, but he did. He very much knew. His user got flattened anyway, though. Third and nine. I have no idea what this defense is. He has so many people in so close. Gronk's actually open there. Nice ball, stay in bounds. Oh, and he fights. That was a hell of a first. I love this little stack here. You got Gronk and Gasicki, just two excellent options. Gronk's there, if he gets in front of it. Oh, hey, we made the Super Bowl though, so I do need to think about my prestige. I think it's gonna be Gronk. Just gonna dive this left side. Ooh, great. Oh my God, I'm built like that. I'm actually playing so good. Is Gronk there? Oh, that's not there. That's such a, like, I do not need to be throwing that. God, Fred Taylor, you're a savage. Let the computer make that. That was a smart decision. He's got two. He's got all stone walls out there. It's an interesting set. I really feel like I could run this. I'm going to go for it. Oh, beautiful blocking. Look at that push out front, man. I'm so proud of my O-line. It's such a bummer that in my actual season, the games are so shit. But in this, this is very, I mean, this is competitive football. All right, boys. Please, please give me your opinion in the comments because this is actually so important to me. Would you prefer I played every game of the season in Mutt Champions like this to have a higher level of competition, but we can't legitimately track our record. So we would just be like, we're tallying it ourselves, you know? I think, dude, every time we have those BS rage quits or super weak games, it would solve that problem. The only sad thing is we never get a Super Bowl presentation. We never get a wild card logo on the field, divisional logo on the field. I feel like that's a decent trade-off. It really is. I'm going to go man up Juju with Ed Reed because he's going to do that corner route. I'm going to jump it. Fucking called it. 
<laughs> oh, you like that, boys? Gonna go with a man blitz here. I'm gonna hover the middle with Trenton Simpson. I doubt he throws running back. He's too scared. <gasps> Where were you gonna throw? I think you get picked off if you throw that. I'm just gonna play a lot of zones here. Big cat in a zone is super weird, but... <laughs> Fucking genius. Derwin James, house it, house it, house it, house it. Oh, no, you can't. Damn, they're fast. Damn, they're fast. We're big time in driver's seat, and Vanguard is lit back up. A few things here. I get ball at half. There's a minute 55. I would really like to use this entire clock. He knew I was going this side. Oh, no. Second and nine. I'm looking at Gronk here. I'm not going to predetermine it. It's there. <laughs> Dude, he's a monster. He's going to think I'm going stretch, so I'm going to go right up the middle. The odds he stops this are like zero. I have no idea how he would stop this. I know how. <laughs> Gronk will fucking <laughs> ignore the D-tackle and run to the middle of nowhere. Honestly, we just play good defense. Coach is saying go for it, but I don't agree. I get ball half anyway. Taking my points. Perfect kick, too. All right, boys. Let's just consider this our NFC championship, yeah? Oh, fuck me, man. I'm like right on that, but no lurker. You can't jump up and get that. Big man blitz here. Stay in! He stayed in! The brand new prime time! Oh, do the high step! Do the neon! Ne oh! Let's go! I don't care what time you give me! Let's go! Field goal was the right call. Prime time was the right wheel pick. I look, I don't care who we play and how much we beat them by. This is awesome right now. I'm on cloud nine, baby. It's the suit and the 100 milligrams of Adderall I take every day. <laughs> Oh my God! If one wasn't good enough, we got the second. I won that game. I said I get a jackpot if I win it. I'm taking it. We also technically have another rage quit wheel, but I'm not taking the extra rage quit wheel because I technically wasn't supposed to be playing the game anyway. I, I don't know. There's just so much going on here. At the end of the day, I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you're loving Wheel of Mutt. And my only goal, like the only thing I give a shit about is giving you guys good content. So I'm going to do that. Even if every pussy ass eight-year-old on this game quits. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, for my jackpot, like I actually kinda want Bo Jackson because he's so good and Fred Taylor like statistically is bad, but it would just be a bad omen. Fred Taylor's been so good that like, how could I replace him? Even if like on paper he's bad, there's no way. So I take a, I'm taking a free safety. So there's two crazy good free safeties. There's Sean Taylor, there's Jesse Bates, who's a limited. You know who's played amazing? Ed Reed has been spectacular. So I'm gonna do the same thing I do with primetime. I'm just gonna upgrade Ed Reed to his 87 overall. This is kinda like a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not willing to make like a gigantic person personnel change going into the Super Bowl, but I'm taking 87 overall Ed Reed, who, by the way, also would be an insanely good prestige. Wow. Oh, that's the other thing. We got to talk about prestige players. Holy shit. I just like, I did envision this going so well. 84 Ed Reed's coming out. 87 Ed Reed's coming in. As you can see, incredibly better stats in every category. Duh. Here's our defense. So many amazing legends. Prime time with that pick six to seal that game up. 87 Ed Reed, 88 Lawrence Taylor, who had some huge sacks, played great. Derwin James was incredible in both of those games. I honestly didn't see much of Stokes or Pat P. In the Super Bowl, I could definitely consider upgrading them. I also could, could upgrade Cam Hayward. And then offensively, this Gronk with Vanguard has been exactly as busted as I imagine. But we need to consider our prestige player. So whoever we prestige will be locked into the lineup for the next nine months of Wheel of Month. The odds Gronk gets another card, I feel like are low. But the odds that Primetime gets another card are really high. That fucking ESPN can't stop sucking his cock. Like they literally can't stop. The only other, my two genuine prestige options are Primetime and Gronk. And I think out of pure fun, He's so fucking good. I think I go Gronk because Gronk has Vanguard. And Vanguard will always make him a blocking threat even when everybody's got 99 overall teams. The next episode is the Super Bowl. I can promise you that no matter what happens in that technical Super Bowl game, I'm getting you an amazing fucking game. Super Bowl is next. Get him hyped. Get him lit. Let's go. That's not getting anybody lit. Let's go! Hey! Three more people rage quit. <laughs> All, yeah, three in the Super Bowl. All three guys I play. Poop, poop, balls, wiener, 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 balls, wiener. Oh! Oh.